Imagine a battlefield where soldiers can disappear instantly from enemy radar or vehicles can vanish from sight, camouflaging perfectly with their background. Well, despite playing catch up to the global west in previous decades, China is now surging full speed ahead in terms of innovation and claims to have cracked the code for invisibility in one of their latest technologies. Word about China's invisibility cloak started surfacing earlier this year in January 2024 when Chinese scientists from Shishang University claim to have made significant advancements in adaptive camouflage. Before their showcase, previous camouflage technology did a poor job of blending in with complicated optical backgrounds or remaining adaptive when there was a sudden change in temperature or humidity. Think of it as a dry patch of grass sticking out in a wet field. If anything, such primitive technology made it easier to identify on the battlefield. To solve that issue, Chinese scientists realized they had to take inspiration from living animals like the chameleon if they wanted to successfully create a useful invisibility cloak. And that required a lot of innovation in their material technology to ensure the suit was self-adaptive and could adjust to fit the background in real time. In essence, they worked to recreate Harry Potter's invisibility cloak, but with science instead of magic. So, when they were finally ready to reveal their breakthrough, it sent shockwaves throughout the world. In addition to scientists working at Zhejiang University, researchers at Jilin and Tsinghua University, China worked together to conceptualize the hybrid material that would become the first invisibility suit. At its launch, the team dubbed the material the Chimera Metamaterial, named after the Greek mythical monster with the head of a lion, the body of a goat, and the tail of a serpent. This decision was to reflect how the material's innovation came from studying three creatures with camouflaging abilities, the chameleon, glass frog, and bearded dragon. The engineers claim that this hybrid material allowed their suit to change the way light bounces off of it, instead of reflecting it as opaque objects do. For context, when light from the sun or an external source, like a lamp, falls on an object, the light bounces off of it and enters your eyes. Since human eyes have a retina with special cells that can detect this light, they send messages to your brain, which then interprets these signals to form images. However, rather than allowing light to bounce off of it, the hybrid chimera metamaterial bends the light, causing it to flow around it rather than reflect. So, with no light waves hitting your eyes, the material becomes effectively invisible, making it a successful cloaking device. Isn't that incredible? But beyond bending light waves in air, these brilliant Chinese scientists took it a step further by engineering this technology to be aeroamphibious. In other words, their invisibility cloak can remain self-adaptive in air or water, extending its application to the Air Force and Navy. And it isn't just talk. These researchers have also successfully applied the concept to test drones in air, land, and sea environments with a 95% success rate. So, unlike previous attempts at creating an invisibility suit that was bound to land, the Chimera metamaterial can effectively help military officers avoid detection as they move from one medium to another. That means they can effectively jump out of a plane, land in a jungle or a desert, and go underwater without alerting the enemy. While that might make for a boring spy movie, it means real-world stealth technology is leaps and bounds ahead of where it used to be. So, what about other applications of this technology? With mass production, this invisibility technology is sure to gain traction beyond its originally intended military purpose. So how else could we apply it in more commercial ways? Before the Chinese came up with their self-adaptive invisibility suits, a UK-based company called Invisibility Shield Co. launched what they claimed was the largest invisibility shield ever in 2022. That's right, two years before China cracked the code, the UK started selling six-foot-tall walls of invisible freestanding glass. 
today, you can even find this product on Amazon and have it delivered directly to your house. However, this technology doesn't take away from China's breakthrough. For one thing, the Chinese invisibility suit is self-adaptive, meaning it's able to cloak the person wearing it as they move. But Shield Co.'s product is limited in that respect. Despite its impressive engineering, it doesn't exactly live up to the term invisible, especially against a non-uniform background. So it wouldn't be the most effective tool to avoid detection on the battlefield. This invisible shield is a lot more effective at hiding objects against solid colored backgrounds like walls or grass. And even then, it simply makes the objects less noticeable without completely hiding them. Thus, if someone were to stand behind it, you'd still be able to see a faint outline of them behind the shield by paying close attention. That's because rather than making light flow around it like the Chinese suit does, it simply mixes the light from the object with the one in the background which creates a blurred or fuzzy effect. Still, that's quite impressive considering it retails online for less than $100. If you're surprised that an invisible shield could be so cheap, you're not alone. Well, that's because Shield Co. makes their units from 100% recyclable materials that result in a lenticular sheet lying on top of a transparent acrylic sheet. Despite the relatively low price tag, the top layer contains precisely arranged lenses in vertical rows, like a ruler that divide the light into multiple beams. When these beams pass from the acrylic sheet to the lenticular, sheet, they overlap and create patterns of light and dark areas. Thus, when these patterns mix with light from the background, it effectively blurs the objects behind it. So, when you're not paying attention, it creates an optical illusion that tricks your eyes into thinking the object or person is invisible. As impressive as that is, Shield Co. doesn't market its product for military combat. After all, they're often lightweight and not nearly as sturdy as most of the riot shields you see on YouTube. On the contrary, they tend to focus their use case on hunting or general fun activities like paintballing. So if you're looking to come out on top at your next paintball tournament, convince your friends you're the next Houdini, or play a harmless prank on your family, you should consider buying one of these shields. And who knows, with time, we could even apply this technology to shower doors and changing rooms to enjoy more privacy and hide those annoying watermark stairs. Stains. When James Bond activated the adaptive camouflage feature on his Aston Martin Vanquish in the 2002 movie Die Another Day, it seemed like a bit of action movie silliness mixed with a hyperactive imagination. That is, until Mercedes-Benz did their first demonstration of an invisible car in 2012. Yeah, even way back in 2010s, we had technology that could mimic invisibility. We use the word mimic in this instance because unlike China's invisibility suit and Shield Co.'s invisibility shield that hide things by changing the reflection of light, Mercedes-Benz opted for a simpler solution by covering one side of the car in LEDs. In addition, they placed the camera on the other side of the vehicle, which transmitted images on that side to the LED screens. You can think of it as placing multiple TVs on the driver's side of your car while placing a camera on the passenger side that sends images of that view to the screen on the other side. As a result, to anyone approaching the car from the driver's side, it would look invisible. In other words, this technology is only effective from one angle, which wouldn't do James Bond a lot of good. Making the car invisible from all angles would require hooking it up with several cameras without affecting the display screens. Beyond that, the camera would also have to be able to sense every observer's line of sight and tailor the display to their specific angle, which is virtually impossible. So beyond running a cool demo sequence, an invisible car isn't that feasible in the near future. But what about the next 10 years? Could we use the Chimera meta material the Chinese use for their suits to create invisible cars? Well, in theory, sure. Meta materials have several applications because of their ability to bend light around them. So if you can manufacture enough to cover an entire car, you could successfully hide it. However, that would be an expensive undertaking. Creating enough material to cloak such large objects that could reach speeds of 100 miles 
per second would be incredibly complex. Still, it's good to know that technological advancements make it a real possibility and not just a piece of science fiction or an elaborate magic trick. Beyond being difficult to produce, it's more likely that the development of invisible cars is going to face obstruction through regulatory challenges. After all, an invisible car could be a potential danger to pedestrians crossing the street and even other drivers. People could also use it in nefarious ways to commit crimes or stalk unsuspecting victims, so it may not be a good idea in the long run. Although, that doesn't mean that we still can't use metamaterials in the automotive industry. On the contrary, there are many ways this tech can improve our car's efficiency today. For example, Meta is working on nanomaterial films with better de-icing properties that can improve driver visibility during winter and improve your engine's battery by taking less time to warm up. In addition, the metamaterials can optically improve the range of self-driving cars without making them look bulky and unattractive. This feature could lower the cost of producing electric self-driving vehicles, which can be good for our planet while making us safer. We can even apply metamaterials to create futuristic holograph displays. Just like this technology can manipulate light to make objects disappear, researchers can also tweak it to create 3D images that float in space. And if that doesn't scream, the future is here, we don't know what does. Basically, this tech works by diffracting light instead of reflecting it, allowing users to control the light waves and create holographic images that appear solid. If you haven't guessed it yet, beyond making your car's interface interactive, metamaterials and their holographic properties could have applications in art and entertainment. We already hinted at that when we talked about how you can use the invisible shield for recreational activities like paintballing. But applying Chimera metamaterials could take our art and entertainment to the next level. For one, how cool would it be to see large sculptures or garden statues appear to stand on thin air when they're really supported by an invisible box? Artists could even make their work more interactive by making it invisible from certain angles and creating an optical illusion that surprises their audience. Even our movies could get a boost because we wouldn't have to sit through terrible CGI when producers try to imply a character is invisible. Metamaterials could also make gaming more enjoyable by allowing players to enjoy more realistic augmented reality games. It would kind of be like living in a live simulation of the movie Ready Player One, but with better holograms and a sleeker stealth mode. With all that said, mass production and adoption of invisibility technology raises several ethical concerns. And the most obvious space where that would be concerning is the military. After all, if China significantly improves its invisibility suit to the point where it can evade all surveillance, what's to stop them from sending a spy into the White House or the Pentagon to steal state secrets? Other countries that develop this technology could also improve their espionage capabilities and breach enemy lines to gain an advantage over their opponents. If so, a single agent camouflaged by the latest invisibility suit could turn the tide of war by eliminating top officials on the other side discreetly or stealing valuable information their country can leverage. In such a world, international law and military treaties would have to change to account for invisible weapons or soldiers. Perhaps countries would have to devote more time to developing technology that can see objects or people wearing invisibility cloaks through ultraviolet or infrared detection. It could even trigger another arms race that reshapes our future and pushes a new superpower forward. Even beyond international disputes, invisibility technology could compromise the safety of everyday people like you. Imagine what would happen if a stalker like Joe Goldberg from the series You was able to get his hands on an invisibility cloak. That might reduce the tension of a character being spotted in a movie, but it could easily be a nightmare in real life. 
While many people would use such a suit to pull a prank or organize a surprise, others could use the same tool to invade your privacy. Depending how widespread this technology gets, security cameras may not be as effective as they are today, which could compromise modern surveillance systems and create major safety concerns for our society. Everyone would be paranoid that someone was watching them, and they wouldn't be wrong knowing that people with invisibility suits could affect Effectively follow you around and escape detection, even from security cameras. While we're still a long way from mass producing invisibility cloaks and driving invisible cars, there's no doubt that researchers across China and worldwide will continue to pursue this technology. It's like trying to put a genie back in the bottle. Once more countries understand how to use Chimera metamaterials, there's no stopping the innovation that's bound to follow. The Canadian company, HyperStealth, is already working on designing several military uniforms and producing over 3,000 vehicles and fighter jets with invisibility technology. However, they're trying to take it a step further by utilizing Quantum Stealth, which is a material that not only bends light waves, but infrared and thermal signatures too. In other words, it could potentially evade night vision technology without leaving a shadow. So, in a scenario where a pilot ejects over an open terrain in enemy territory, he could use this Quantum Stealth material to conceal himself, even after they've identified the location of his aircraft. Invisible to all visual sensors and human eyes, he could successfully radio for help, wait for rescue by his team. Besides improving the success of military operations for countries that own this technology, invisible technology could also improve our quality of life. When it trickles down to commercial use, we could use it to create better effects in movies that enhance the storytelling, and also create more immersive gaming experiences and vehicles with camouflage abilities. So, what do you think about the Chinese military invisibility suit? Do you think it's something that would have a net positive impact on our world, or are the ethical and safety concerns too much of a risk?